Hello, my name is Harold Jones and I'm Dean of the School of Health Professions at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. This is the first of a series of monthly interviews that we will be doing talking to leaders within our school. These leaders are helping to shape the future of health care by tailoring innovative solutions to real world problems. The real world problem that we want to discuss today is the epidemic of obesity that is sweeping across the United States. Nearly one out of every three Americans suffer from obesity. And with that obesity comes increased risk for heart attack, stroke, diabetes, and a number of other diseases. Obesity is more than just a general area for me. In fact, it is very important to me personally because just six months ago, I was part of that statistic. Indeed, I weighed 254 pounds. And over the past six months, through a program which I have been participating in here in the School of Health Professions, I have lost nearly 77 pounds. That program is called the Eat Right Weight Management Program and is directed by Dr. Jamie Ard. Dr. Ard serves as a professor in the Department of Nutrition Sciences and is the Associate Dean for Clinical Affairs for the School of Health Professions. But most importantly, for the purposes of our discussion today, Dr. Ard serves as the medical director of the Eat Right programs and the programs in which I lost the weight that I did. Dr. Ard, thanks for joining us today. Glad to be here. Would you tell us a little bit about how you got interested in obesity and why you've chosen to make that the focus of your research and clinical practice? Well, when I started medical school, obesity was becoming the epidemic that we now have. And it was at the very early stages of this in the early 90s. We were just beginning to really start to understand the impact of obesity on chronic diseases. There were certainly some well-known clinical programs at Duke University where I went to medical school and I got exposed to those programs uh, during early in my medical school career. And I was really amazed at, of all the facets of medicine that we could practice, weight loss was one of those things that led to dramatic reversals or changes in comorbid conditions that I was really interested in like diabetes and hypertension and heart disease risk. It made a huge difference in those risk factors in a very short period of time with just doing things that were related to lifestyle, what you ate, how physically active you were, other parts of your behavior. So it was really fascinating to me, and I felt like this is something that I could really be passionate about. And I also got interested in it from a research standpoint, looking at ways to really sort of target therapy for different groups of people, in particular African Americans. And so um, I got the opportunity to learn a lot about nutrition and diet and behavior um, particularly in the context of African-American culture and be able to apply that to the work that I was doing clinically and so it it really has become something that I've become very passionate about and that's why it's a focus of what I do. Please tell us a little bit about the UAB Eat Right program and why there are multiple options within that program. So UAB Eat Right actually began in the late 1970s and it was started by the late Dr. Roland Weinseer when he began to develop a plan to help individuals lose weight in a nutritionally sound way. So he developed a program that included multiple healthcare professionals, a team approach that included dietitians, uh, exercise physiologists, behaviorists, all of which converged to help individuals be successful with weight reduction. And he utilized a principle that was focused on helping people eat a lot more food but consume fewer calories. So the, the process was called time calorie displacement. Essentially what that means is that people eat bulkier foods and they, in doing so, take a longer time to eat. It gives your stomach a little bit of a chance to catch up with, sort of, with where your brain is and you feel full and then you consume fewer calories. Well, over time the program has evolved and we've added additional components to deal with the complexity of obesity that we see on a clinical basis. So now 
we like to consider Eat Right as a customizable strategy to empower people to help them improve their lifestyle so that they can lose weight and achieve their health goals. And we provide medical weight loss for anyone, um, even those who are considering surgery as an option for weight management. The reason we have the different types of programs we have is because we understand that not one size fits all. So we have our complete meal replacement program, which includes our OptiFast product. We also have our Eat Right Lifestyle program. And that program is a group-based program that's really designed for people who need to lose about 25 pounds or so. And then we have our Eat Right for Life program, which is a long-term maintenance program because we understand that once you've lost the weight, the hardest part about the struggle beyond that is keeping it off. And then we have our fitness program because we understand that it's an integral part of maintaining and achieving weight loss. There are a number of weight loss programs out there that can be confusing to people who are looking to lose weight. Some people just need to lose 10 to 15 pounds. Some need to lose 80 pounds, 100 or even more. Could you tell us a little bit about what makes the Eat Right program special and why a person would choose to do a medically supervised weight management program? Well, the, the main thing that sets UAB Eat Right apart is the fact that we have professionals, healthcare professionals, who are involved in the delivery and supervision of your weight loss experience. Oftentimes, a commercial program may involve someone who has experienced a program before, but may not have any specific nutrition knowledge or knowledge in physical activity or health behaviors. Certainly not a physician being involved in a lot of commercial programs. We also provide a team approach. So you won't just get one perspective. You're going to get a holistic approach to your program. And those two things primarily set us apart. The other components that really sort of differentiate us from other programs are the fact that one, we have a well, well developed research base that supports the strategies that we use. And so we really take pride in the fact that we're evidence based in terms of how we approach weight management. So you won't get gimmicks or quick fixes from our programs. There won't be any just passing out pills or giving people shots as a part of what we do. We're all about what is scientifically proven and medically safe. The other area that really differentiates us and sort of leads into your last question about when do you need medical supervision is the fact that we actually are really focused on that individual that has a lot of risk factors. So people who have diabetes or high blood pressure or sleep apnea, any problem that may be related to being overweight, we're focused on trying to help to reduce those risk factors. And for that, for that goal, you need to have a team of medical professionals that are going to help you in your journey with weight reduction. Based on your experience, what are the factors that make a person more likely to be successful in losing weight and maintaining it? Well, I think some of the things that are really critical to long-term weight loss maintenance and, and short-term weight loss are really one and the same, and they're actually fairly simple. A lot of people think that there's some magic bullet or some special trick that you have to have or know about in order to be successful. But based on our research and our experiences in clinic, we know that by far and away the most important thing that people can do to be successful is to write down what they're eating. It sounds simple enough, and people have probably heard this a couple of times before, especially if they've tried to lose weight. But by far and away, the people who are most successful are those who write down on a daily basis everything that goes in their mouth. And they do that consistently. They get very good at it, and sometimes they may not need to do it every day, you know, three years down the road, but they know that if they ever get off track, that's the first thing that they need to do is become more aware of what they're eating. The other thing that's really critical for people's success, especially within our program, is the utilization of group support. The reason our programs are group-based is because we know that being engaged in a group setting allows you to be more successful with 
changing your behaviors and having that support from other individuals who are doing similar types of things as you is really critical to one, ingraining those behaviors and two, being able to problem solve and feel like you're not the only person in the world doing this. So those are two critical elements that help people in the short term as well as in the long term. Lastly, I would say that being physically active is above and, above and beyond something that everyone needs to do, especially individuals who are attempting to lose weight and to keep it off. Physical activity is sort of the backup plan, if you will, for when your food plan goes a little bit awry. Individuals who are losing weight actively and are trying to restrict calories, those who exercise generally have more consistent results than those who don't. People who are maintaining weight loss usually will have more consistent results when they're physically active on a regular basis because that day-to-day -day variation in what you take in in terms of uh, calories can be 50 to 100 calories difference in the course of a couple of days. So over a period of time, you can very slowly begin to see those calories creep back up, but you always have the ability to ramp up your exercise or increase the frequency of your exercise or alter your exercise to make up for some of those differences. So physical activity won't always be the key in terms of allowing you to lose weight without cutting your calories, but it certainly can be critical in terms of maintaining your weight loss. Thank you, Dr. R, for sharing your expertise and time with us today and helping us learn a little bit about, more about the obesity epidemic in this country and about weight management in general. Glad to be here. For those of you who would like more information about UAB's Eat Right Weight Management programs, you can find that online at www.uab.edu slash eat right. I want to thank all of you for watching us today and learning a little bit about the obesity problem within the United States and getting some information about our weight reduction problems. We hope that you will join us in the near future as we bring forward additional leaders who will tell you about other problems and the solutions that are being created within our School of Health Professions to help shape the future of health care. In the meantime, if you would like further information about the School of Health Professions, you can find that on our website at www.uab.edu slash SHP. Or you can join us on Facebook at www facebook.com slash UABSHP. We hope to see you both there and in our next interview. Once again, thank you for joining us. I'm Harold Jones, Dean of the School of Health Professions, shaping the future of healthcare through tailoring innovative solutions to real world problems.